Okay, I know a lot of you are worried about the magnet issue, but there are actually a lot of them are magnets. This is magnet, this is magnet, and this is also magnet. And most of you are worried about that the magnet might influence, might somehow influence the camera. Yes, and that is understandable. But as you can see, this is magnet, and this is also magnet. So there are a lot of them are magnets. All right, let's just forget about all those magnetic stuff. Let's just put this away, put this away. Okay, no magnetic. And today I got something real special that doesn't require the magnet at all. And let's find out. This is extra photo. Let's go. All right, before we begin, I want to say that the purpose of my video is to find a cheaper solution, which I'm not saying that Tilta is a bad product. I'm just saying that Tilta is indeed a little bit expensive. That's all, that's all. So let's see what's in the box. Okay, so before we open this box, I want to do a quick review about the Tilta situation. So first, the Telta is about 56 US dollar. And second, the Telta does require a cage in order to use their cooling system, which will be more expensive than just 56 US dollar. Okay, so with that in mind, let's just put this away. Since this is our second video about this overheating solution, uh, so we're going to do something even better, okay, which is the power conception. I wasn't so sure about how much power does Telta's cooling system require, so I went to one of the Telta store, asked about it, and their reply is about 10 watts, which is pretty much the same with my previous semiconductor cooling system, yeah. So today I'm not just going to be satisfied with 10 watts, I'm going to do with something even more, which is 24 watts and this only requires 20 US dollar okay 20 US dollar and this one doesn't need a cage and of course this one doesn't have magnets so let's just put this away so no cage no magnets and it's 24 watts with 20 US box only. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, let's open this like real quick. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, the surface is really big. And uh, yes, it's real big. Since we're not going to do the magnet today, I'm just going to tear this away. Let's just tear it down. Let's just forget about it. Tear this apart. Okay, just put this away. Just forget about it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so no magnet. Like this is. Okay, so no magnet. Okay, check. No magnet. All right. Okay, so this is how you put this stuff onto the camera. Like, so you just put this onto your camera just like that and click. Yeah. And second good thing about this design is this has two Type-C port. If one of the Type-C port is damaged, you have one more for backup. So that is really nice. Like, which tells that doesn't have that. Tilda only has one Type-C port. So if that Type-C port is damaged, then you can do nothing about it. With this, you has two Type-C port, one for backup, which is real nice for 20 bucks. Yeah. Okay, so let's put this in. Okay, so now the first stage is about five to seven watts. Okay, so let's go to the second stage. Okay, so it's reached to nine. So, okay, going to the maximum, like, let's see how low can it go down. And we're going to put this onto the surface for more accurate test. So the surface is like really cold, as you can see, it's really cold. Oh my God. 
Okay, so let's keep it going. Like it's it's seven degree. Okay, which is a lot cooler than this previous one. Yeah, and the power is twenty four watts. Yeah, it stop at it stop at twenty four watts. Okay, so just tear it down. Now let's put this onto the surface and let's test it test it again okay so now this is going down to seven with that in mind let's going to test with our lovely a6700 yeah let's see how long can it go let's go Okay, it has been over an hour and my battery is almost dead. Now only 3% of the battery left. And still we don't have any warning about the overheating sign. Like if you are almost overheating, there will be a little yellow logo uh, over here. But now we don't have any overheating warning. So yeah, that is pretty good. First of all, I have charge the battery to a hundred percent before i do the test okay so yeah it's a little bit longer than i expected it's an hour and 11 minutes almost 12 minutes okay here i'm still waiting still waiting so right now the battery is almost dead and we still don't have any warning about the overheating yeah which is pretty good amazing an hour and 12 minutes should be close at any time should be close yeah oh yeah that's close that's close good that's close and we are at about an hour and 30 minutes okay let's check the temperature like real quick let's check let's put this away and let's see about the camera temperature yeah, it's about 36 degree wow oh my god the temperature is pretty well controlled all right so that's today's video and i think the result is pretty outstanding and i hope you find this video helpful if you like this video please give a like subscribe and share if you have any question you can leave your comments down below and i'm Romus. This is Extra Photo. Peace out.